Hello. Today we're going to correct our homework and then we'll go over our notebook page. We'll do the practice problems, look over those answers, and then we'll show what homework and you can get started on that. So get out your math books to page 205 and 206. And we will get started at correcting here. All right. So number one, you should have found four partial products, added them up to get 266. Number five, right? Yes, number five, you should have found your product of 1,064. Number eight should have been 1,089. Number nine should have been 224. Number 12 should have been 143. Right? And then on the back, we had 14 and 15 to do. 14, you should have multiplied your 27 students times the 15 math problems and gotten 405. And you, yes, you do need your label math problems or just problems are good too. But you need 405 and then some sort of word describing what the 405 is. Right. Number 15 might have tripped you up because we've been doing multiplication. This one was actually a review one. And that word and and that how many kind of help guide us to know that we should do addition with these two numbers and we'd get 21,428. Mm -hmm. And our label should be people because it's how many people. Okay, people was that word. All right. So that was our math homework from yesterday. Check. Now we're going to go over our notebook page for today. So go ahead and find your 4 7 page. Move my stuff around a bit so I got a little more room. All right, 4 7. So what we are going to do is do partial products, but we're not going to do the 4 square way. We're going to kind of do that. What we're going to do is start looking at it like we did when we did like 235 times 5. Okay. Remember how we looked at it by the 1s, 10s, and then 100s? We're going to do that same down here. We're going to do it kind of twice. Okay. So what we're looking at here, remember how we did like 5 times 5? And then 5 times 30, that tens place, how many are 30 tens? And then 5 times 200. And we found this was 25, this was 150, and this was 1,000. Okay, because 5 times 2 is 10, and add two zeros. And then we add these up to get 1,175. Remember doing that? We're going to do that today with these ones, but we're going to have to do it twice because we have two digits in our bottom one. So the first thing that we're going to do is multiply your bottom factors one spots by the value of the spots up above. So I'm going to start by writing out those number sentences. So first I'm starting with my one spot. So I'm going to write my four times my ones, four times three. And then I look and I'm doing my four times how many tens? There's two tens, which is 20. All right, so now I'm going to find these partial products. Four times three is, four times three is 12. And then four times two is eight and add a zero. All right, so I've already done three steps of our algorithm. Now I'm going to multiply my 10 spots by each spot up above. So remember, this isn't just one. This is 10, right? Because it's 1, 10 times my ones times 3. And then I'm going to do my 10s again. So 10 times my 10 above is 2. And then I solve and find those partial products. 10 times 3 is 30, and 10 times 20 
is 200. Then when I go through and add all of these guys up, I could rewrite them if it's too sloppy, but mine's pretty neat. So I'm gonna go two, let's see, eight, nine, and then three more would be 10, 11, 12, and then two plus one is three. And then I always circle my answer so we can find it easy. So what we did was basically the box method, but we just got rid of the box. We looked at it by using that expanded form. Let's try one more together, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is multiply my one spot down here by my ones and my tens. We're gonna write out those number sentences. So I'm starting with, this is worth five, right? Five ones times one one. Perfect. Then I start, I still have my five because I still have numbers across the top times my four, but it's not four, remember? It's four tens, so it's really by 40. Then I find these partial products. Five times one equals five. And we wanna put that equal sign in between, so otherwise it's gonna look like 55. So equals five times 40, well five times four is 20, and at zero gets us 200. All right, next step number four, I look at my tens spot and I'm going to multiply by my ones and my tens. Then I'm going to write my number sentences. So two here doesn't mean two. Remember it means 20. So 20 times how many ones up above? 20 times one. And then I also do my 20, I'm still with that one, times how much is this guy worth? worth 44 tenths. All right, so I wrote my number sentences. Now we're gonna find the final products. 20 times one is 20. Notice when we're writing how we line them up as neat as we can. And then 20 times 40 is two times four is eight. And add two zeros for 800. And then we're gonna add to find our partial products. Five plus nothings is five. Zero, two, and zero is two. And eight and two is 10. So I got to 1,025. So you go ahead and try one, two, three, and four that same way where you write out all your expanded form, find your partial products, and add. And try this way for me today, okay? See if you like it. You won't know until we do a few problems, okay? So pause the video and try solving one, two, three, and four. All right, let's take a look. So 34 times 51, we should have done one times four and one times 30, and that would get us four and 30. All right, then 50 times four and 50 times 30. 50 times four is 200, and 50 times 30 is 1,500. 15 and add two zeros. All right, add them up. Four, three, seven, and one. And circle, I forgot to do that over there. And circle your answers, your products. All right. Let me show that I had one times three and one times 70. That gets us three and that gets us 70. 80 times three and 80 times 70. Eight times three gets us 24 and add a zero, 240. And eight times seven is 56 and add two zeros for 5,600. Add them up. Three, 11, six, seven, eight, nine, and five. 5,913. All right, we should have done three times four and three times 20 to get 12, and to get 60, and then 30 times four, and 30 times 20. 
30 times 4 is 120. And 30 times 6 times 20 is 600. Add them up. 2, let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 7. 792. Number 4 should have been 5 times 9. And 5 times 1. And then solve those. Oh, 5 times 10, not times 1. This as well because that's in the 10th spot equals 45, and 5 times 10 equals 50. Then we do 40 times 9, and 40 times 10. 40 times 9 is 360, and then 400. And what? Well, we should get 5, let's see, 15, and 8 to 855. So it's kind of like a mix of the box way and a normal way, or like the um, way we did it with expanded form when we did it with just one digit. So what we've got next is uh, oh, your homework. So in your book, you're going to use page 211 and 212. And problems 2, 4, 6, 8, 13, and 14. Okay, and just looking at those really quickly. A lot of them, they'll give you boxes. And if you don't want to use the boxes, that's okay. But just use them as a guideline, just so you can show your expanded form answers down in those boxes. All right, and then on the back side, 13 and 14, you need to tell me which ones are missing, which expanded form numbers are missing. All right, let me know if you have questions, and I hope you practice the skill today. Please do it really good to understand why the numbers are the way they are. And then we will go on tomorrow with a new way. All right, take care.